Now, what we have next is the concept of factorial. Now, what is this factorial? It's very, very important. Let's take a simple example. Suppose I have 10 books in hand. I have 10 books in hand. And I need to select 10 books one after this. In what order I will select? So I may select the first book in 10 different ways. I may select the first book, any one among these 10. So I have removed 10. Now I need to pick up the second book. Now for picking up the second book, what is left is only 10 minus 1, 9 books. So the second book can be selected in 9 ways. Then you could now left out 8 books. Out of this 8, we, can, we need to select the third book. That is one book in 8 different ways. Similarly, the fourth book can be selected in 7 different ways. And the next book can be selected in 6 different ways. Then 5 different ways. Then the next book in 4 different ways. Then 3 different ways and 2 different ways. And the last one, of course, can be picked up in just one way. So now when you see, it means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now this means you are multiplying a number by the number next to it. That is lower than this, then that by the number next to it. Now this can be written as 10 factorial. This is a very important concept in the process of selection and arrangement. We write it as 10 factorial which can also be written as 10 like this. This could be written as 10 factorial. So this is called this is 10 factorial, the concept of factorial. So suppose you have 5 factorial, it would be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So which means which is 120. So value of 5 factorial is 120. So in short, n factorial means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into so on and so forth. So this is what is the concept of factorial. There are certain things you need to understand in this concept of factorial that 2 factorial is the same as 2. 2 factorial is 2 into 1 which is 2. Also 1 factorial is going to be, yes you are right, 1. But it will be surprising that even 0 factorial is going to be taken as 1. The value of 0 factorial is also 1. The value of 1 factorial is also 1. And the value of 2 factorial is 2. So in short, this is a brief idea of what we mean by factorial. So it's basically multiplying every number by the next lower number and that followed by the next number less one less than that and so on and so forth so in general n factorial means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 up till maybe 1 up till 1 hence you have it that way so let's take up more understand the concept of factorial in a deeper manner so as i told for example symbol is either factorial 2 is this so suppose i say factorial 2 we write it this way or we write it this way 2 factorial lots of examples 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 9 factorial is 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 that's 0 factorial is 1 and 1 factorial is 1 as i told you earlier for example let's do suppose you have 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial now how do we write this we split this up 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 1 less 2 factorial because it's going to be 3 into 2 into 1 which is going to be 2 factorial upon 2 factorial which is going to be just 3. Suppose I say 8 factorial by 6 factorial. 8 factorial by 6 factorial it is going to be 8 into 7 into 6 factorial because it is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 followed by that. And this is also going to be 6 into 5. The moment you reach this level, you can put it 6 factorial upon 6 factorial. So 6 is the same as 6 factorial by 6 factorial 1, which is 56. Hence, we have the concept of factorial concept. So this is what you mean by factorial. Right. Okay. Now we have various examples as I told you. Suppose we have... 
6 uh, factorial by 3 factorial I give you that example 6 factorial by 3 factorial is would be 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 3 factorial upon 3 factorial so 25 for the 20 into 6 120 similarly you have 8 factorial can be written as 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 that is the same as 5 factorial now it is the other one is 15 factorial into 16 now 15 factorial into 16 is the same as 16 into 15 into 14 into whatever it is up to 1 now this is nothing but 16 factorial so in short n plus 1 into n factorial is the same as n plus 1 factorial this is what we have done over here 15 is like n factorial this is one more than that so it's n plus 1 factorial now let's take this example here r factorial is 24 so what should be r r factorial is 24 so 24 can be written as 6 into 4 which can be written as 4 into 6 3 into 2 into 1 so that means r factorial which is 24 is this that means r factorial is this r factorial is going to be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is the same as 4 factorial which means that r is 4 so r is 4 hence we have that way much the same way you have r plus 1 into r if you open the bracket it is going to be r square plus r minus 20 so we have r square plus r minus 20 is 0 solving it you will end up getting r is minus 5 or r is equal to 4. Now when you have r is 4 and minus 5 r this has to be discarded because we are dealing with the number of terms. Now r, n etc in any concept of permutation or factorial is going to be a positive integer. It has to be a positive integer. Now this is a negative integer. So the only answer that's possible over here is r is 4. It is also interesting to note that r plus 1 into r is also if you, so this is just a simple, suppose this was r plus 1 into r factorial. If you apply this, this would be the same as r plus 1 factorial in any case. So this example has been given to make you understand why we need to discard the negative value because the negative value is not possible because r or n indicate the number of terms involved. So this is how we have the understand the concept of factorial.